Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm checking out the Rowan wallet from Grove Supply Company. Let's check it out. So Grove Supply Company ships your wallet in a little fabric bag here. So let me take everything out. Here's the wallet, cool little thank you card. There's also a little sticker in here and then a card with their email address and it looks like their website. I'll have all this information down below. But I'll throw all this off to the side and I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Rowan wallet here from Grove Supply Company. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. There we go. So the Rowan features two pockets and a rear cash flap and can hold up to eight credit cards. It's handmade from full grain vegetable tan leather and the leather is sourced from the Wicked and Craig Tannery in Pennsylvania. You have your choice of five different colors of leather. This one's the burgundy color. The thread is a waxed polycord and available in six different colors. The thread color that I have right here is black and the Rowan is made right here in the USA. All right, so what about the dimensions here? It comes in at two and three quarters inches by four inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at exactly one ounce. That's 30 grams. So now let's talk about the Rowan from Grove Supply Company so we can determine if this is the right wallet for you. So let's first talk about the quality here. So yes, this is a full grain vegetable tan leather from the Wicket and Craig Tannery in Pennsylvania. And this feels very, very nice. You can see it does have a very, very high sheen to it right there. And in turn, it does feel a little bit slippery in my hands, but that isn't a big deal at all. I just wanted to mention it to you guys because I know I get a lot of questions about that in my comments section. But other than feeling slightly slippery in your hands, it does have a nice quality feel to it. And I'll tell you something that I really like here is Grove Supply Company used a wax poly cord for their thread. If I get in real close, you can see that that thread looks fairly hefty. Doesn't look like that's just gonna come unlaced anytime soon. And speaking of this hand stitching right here, everything looks very, very nice from Grove Supply Company. Some nice work. And another thing that I look at very closely is the burnishing just to see how much care they put into the wallets. And as you can see, everything here looks excellent. Even the edges on this flap here are nicely burnished. So very nice job. So now let's jump into the styling. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been really into this style of minimal card holders lately. And yes, some are more functional than others. So how does this one fare? So as you can see, if I give you a cross section from the top, it's two pieces of leather sewn together. So we have this inner piece of leather that's just a folded piece that's stitched together right here. And then there's an outer piece of leather right here that forms this pocket and then wraps around to form this cash flap. And yes, I am a big fan of the card holders that give you a cash flap like this, sort of like the Speakeasy Diavella, where it's a very minimal style card holder, but then it gives you a nice convenient spot to hold your cash. So right off the bat, I knew I was gonna like the styling of the Rowan here. And I do love the combination here of this burgundy colored leather with the black thread. I think it looks great. Now you only have one choice of leather color when choosing your wallet, but with the Rowan here, since it's two pieces of leather, it looks like it's different shades here. Do you see that? And when I first received this, I had to double check to make sure that it wasn't two different colors, but no, it's just one color right here. I just have two different shades of burgundy, which to me is a good thing. Now I say this in every video that I'm not a fan of big obnoxious branding. And as you can see, you don't see any branding on this wallet at all. But as I showed you at the beginning of this video, if you peel back this cash flap right there. We do have the Grove Supply Company logo right there, which I think is absolutely perfect. So once this flap is closed, you don't see any branding at all. That is great. So what about the functionality? Let's just jump right into the card test. So they say up to eight credit cards there on the website. So I have my eight flat credit cards right here. And I'm just going to keep one out for the front. Put the seven right dead center in that center pocket. You can see it doesn't have a problem at all. And then one card in that front pocket as a quick access card pocket. Now, honestly, I think the Rowan can still handle some more cards, but I think I'm gonna stop there at eight. That's a pretty good number for the max. And just like every other card wallet of this style, it's highly functional. We have this quick access card pocket right here with a very aggressive cut. That just makes it very easy to get your cards in and out of that quick access pocket on the front. And testing out the functionality of the cards in the middle, just give it a squeeze 
pull them all out at once like that, do the fan method. Yeah, functionality's there. All right, so how does it handle cash? I have five American dollar bills right here. So I'm gonna fold these into quarters first, just to stuff them back there, right behind that little cash flap. And yeah, awesome. But I had those bills folded into quarters. Let's see how it handles only folding your bills in half right there. And yeah, so, all right. So it took those five bills pretty nicely folded in half. And keep in mind, I still have all eight cards in this wallet. So if I take out those eight cards right here and try 10 American dollar bills, fold it in half, let me stick these 10 bills. Oh yeah, not a problem at all. Check that out. Takes it like a champ. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna stick those seven cards back in here. And yeah, it's a little tight because now we have all those bills taking up some room back there, but check it out. Maximum eight cards, 10 bills back here under the cash flap. Very nice. So now I'm curious to see if it can handle 15 bills. So let me just try this real quick. So I just added those two stacks together, 15 bills, fold it in half with the eight cards stuffed in the wallet and uh, boom. So yeah, this thing is a beast, man. Eight credit cards, $15 bills in there. Wow, I'm impressed. And this is a little overkill for me because I don't even carry eight cards. I'm just showing you guys the max. I carry six total. So if I take out two cards, so I have five in the middle, one in the front, put that back a little bit more manageable. Yeah, man, I like this thing. All right, so let's talk about what I like about the Rowan from Grove Supply Company. First off, the quality of leather is great. Full grain, vegetable tan leather from Wiccan and Craig, you can't go wrong. And this hand stitching made from waxed poly cord looks really durable. I don't think you're gonna have any issues at all with this stitching. Also, one way you can tell a company really cares about the quality of their work is how well they burnished their edges. And as you can see here, every single edge is taken care of. Very nice. I really like the styling of this wallet, but I've been on a minimalist card wallet kick for a while now, so that's no surprise. And I do like the combination of the burgundy colored leather with this black thread here. I like the functionality here. We have this quick access card pocket here in the front and a fairly sizable center card pocket here that holds seven more cards, probably even more. And I think this cash flap back here is awesome. You can see I still have these 15 bills in here folded in half. And anytime you have a wallet that's handmade and all the materials are sourced right here in the USA, that has to go in the positive section too. And the last thing I'm gonna put in the positive section here is the price. This thing's only 45 bucks. And now let's talk about what I don't like about the Rowan wallet from Grove Supply Company. Now this is always the hardest part for me trying to come up with a negative, especially when you have a wallet that is definitely high quality, uses quality materials, the stitching, everything looks great. So I normally have to come up with some super small little detail that I don't like. And I guess as much as I like the leather, as I mentioned earlier, it is a little bit slippery. Now I know that sounds like a silly negative, but that's the only thing I can really think of giving this wallet a negative is sometimes it feels a little slippery and holding it in my hands, it kind of feels like it's gonna fall out, but that's not really a negative to some people. It's not really a negative here, but if I have to come up with something that has to be it. Because other than that, I can't really think of a negative about this wallet. So would I recommend the Rowan from Grove Supply Company? Yes, absolutely. Excellent quality materials, excellent craftsmanship here on the leather work. I think the styling is great. This bad boy can hold at least $15 bills here and eight credit cards. What's not to love? All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Rowan wallet from Grove Supply Company? Now, like I already mentioned, I did pick this up for about 45 bucks straight from the Grove Supply Company website. If you wanna check it out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!